What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Flicking on My Big Tarot, here where I bring you the beauty juice and special truths. I'm Miss Fairy God, host Miss BC. And today, you guys, we are back with another general reading for the sign of Leo. Please understand this will not apply to every single Leo, as every single Leo is not going through the same scenario. Cross watchers, anybody outside the Leo energy, you're more than welcome to join in, tune in. But please utilize this information for the most positive purpose. Spirit told me to talk to you, so I will be talking to you with a few of my tarot decks. For more information, everything will be in the description box below. And without further ado, Leo, I am talking to you. If this is so, drop a tip in my cash app. Let me know. Let's see, Leo. Also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this video. Courtship. So I see you like courting someone. I see you wanting to date someone. I feel like maybe you've been dating this person and now you want to make it serious. Um, but I feel like neither of you really want to do it. Maybe you all, this feels like a situation that maybe um, you all were doing it or like in the process of, it's like when you meet somebody and y'all talk and then y'all meet up one time. And then after that, y'all might text a few times and then it's like y'all fall off. And then this person comes back maybe because they just want to sleep with you or something and it's like, I feel like I'm going through all of this in my life and I need to get back to them. And then they come back to you and it's like, do we really even, you know, do either of us even really want this seriously? Or is it just something that, you know, you're trying to do in the moment? And I feel like Leo, you all do that. You might get sudden wealth as well. That's not abnormal for Leo. You all always have a tendency to see the thing with Leo, you all have a tendency to attract lots of money, but it's like you all attract money, but you can't keep it. Like as soon as you get it, you spend it. A lot of time Leo spend more than what they actually have just to show off a lifestyle that they're really not living. They're depicting something that's actually not happening. It's literally not happening. It's happening, but not the way they're portraying it to be. It's like, oh yeah, I got money. I got money. And you really have got $1,500 and you're at, and that's like pocket change kind of, but it's like, okay, $1,500. What is it? You know, because as soon as you break a dollar, it's $1,499. Okay. So it's like one of them situations where you're trying to flex, but it's like, you doing too much. Yeah, stabbed in the back. Whoever this person is might end up stabbing you in the back. I feel like um, it's probably the feminine energy that you're dealing with. If you're dealing with a feminine energy, uh, whoever is the more feminine, the feminine energy um, in this situation, I guess, is doing the stabbing in the back to some extent. Somebody um, is experiencing maybe pain in a separation. I feel like maybe once you leave someone, um, once you leave someone, you'll get some sudden wealth. It doesn't necessarily have to be money, but it could be something good. Mirror, mirroring each other, self image, relationship, reflect on wounds and introspection. Maybe that's odd. Those are two very odd cards together. Mirror. And then the number is 11, 777, double digits, triple digits, like the same number. It's like, maybe you're reflecting on wealth. I'm not sure. That's who, oh, look at that. And as I said, 11, 11, 11. Alignment, new opportunities, rapid manifesting, light bulb, activation level. Like, these are my cards, y'all. And it's funny because this is a Leo on this, um, on that meme. It's a meme that I made. But yes, like alignment, new opportunities, rapid manifesting, light bulb, activation. I feel like maybe you're going to get an idea. 
or you're going to you're going to learn from this situation pretty much i feel like you may be getting ready to go through something with somebody and it might be very very hard for you to deal with but you all are in a sense marrying each other when it comes to wanting to create wealth i think maybe you and whoever you're dealing with yeah focus on the present as it's here that change occurs yeah i feel like maybe some money unexpected money or something like that but that is for um that is for one that's one message my body that's one message now we're going to get into the actual tarot bottom of the deck yeah there's an imbalance here between you and someone else or there's just there's an imbalance with you maybe you're thrown off i feel like you're just you're off balance with something maybe physically you're off balance you could be drunk i feel like you're over you're over indulging in alcohol possibly I feel like you're drinking at all times of the day. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to deal with something. You're going something that you're going through, you're trying to deal with it, but I feel like you're not really Yeah, over a two of cups situation. I feel like there's an imbalance between you and somebody maybe you had a fling with or you and somebody maybe you were just friends and benefits with. I feel like there's something something about this is off now. Like one is dry and one is wet and it's like at first we were both wet but now one is dry and one is wet. Like I just feel like it's like we're not friends with benefits anymore. I feel like maybe you're thrown off balance and maybe it and maybe this imbalance is causing you to no longer have this two of cups with somebody. I feel like it's like one of those situations where you're going through something and you're thrown off. So because of that, it's affecting your relationship. And maybe you don't think about it. Maybe you're coming around your partner drunk more and your partner might not be somebody who gets drunk all the time. So it's kind of like, okay, um yeah like you're doing this a little too much you know what i'm saying like it's becoming yeah excessive you need to get it together and i feel like maybe this person even though you're not dealing with them may allow you to get your emotions in the right place i feel like this situation i feel like one the, who there's somebody in here who's just dry and feeling down and just raggedy and somebody just feels just so just just uh and then the other person is like clean well mannered this devil card really wanted to come out like i feel like one is trying to get away from the other yeah and, and look at that leo look at that somebody wants marriage and i wasn't going to take that card but it was in an upright. We had the Leo card, the strength card, and then right after that, we got the four of wands. So I feel like this person, somebody might be trying to detach from marriage. I feel like there's Leos, y'all always get extra sudden wealth. You got an extra card. So look, your luck starts now. Okay. Like, I just feel like someone, yeah, someone is not, yep, someone is not using their intuition. And I feel like you're just off balance. You're all over the place. Maybe, like I said, I feel like somebody is overindulging in something too much. Maybe drinking. Somebody might be drinking at all hours of the day. It's like, you know how some people, they work during the day, so they might drink at night once they get off of work. <laughs> Like this person will wake up, take a drink, be at work, take a drink, get off work, take a drink. You know, just their intuition is just being altered. It's just like your intuition is being altered. Yeah, I feel like this person possibly gave you um, wisdom. I feel like this person may have gave you wisdom. Maybe this person gave you money but they're no longer 
like collaborating with you. I feel like this person gave you everything, but yet they're not collaborating with you and they're perfectly fine doing that. Or somebody is fine, just not collaborating. It's like, it's okay, I'm cool with it. Like I'm detaching from, I'm detaching from wanting this relationship. And the other person is like really wanting commitment. One person is like, I'm cool, I'm chilling. I'm detached. The other one is like, well, shit, me too. I want marriage, but you know, not like this. Or I want a relationship, but not like this. Because again, we got the four wands here. So Leo. Yeah, I feel like you are really trying to create a different space. It's like I don't want to be attached to whatever this is. I don't want to be obsessed with whatever this is, but for whatever reason, you're having a hard time letting go. It's like you're having a hard time letting go. It's like, I really don't want this to be gone, but at the same time, it's like, if it does, it does, but I really don't want it to. Yeah, I feel like, so somebody is not communicating wanting wanting this four wands, somebody is going to communicate they don't want that. Or maybe somebody is not communicating that. It's like, if you're in a relationship with somebody and you're thinking they want marriage and they really don't want marriage, but they don't tell you they don't want marriage. If you don't, you better. 